The orangutan. The biggest tree-dwelling animal on the planet. Males can weigh almost 100 kilograms and have an arm span of two meters. Up to 95% of their lives are spent in the canopy. But they're surprisingly clumsy climbers. It looks to me like this is an animal too big for its treetop home. To reveal the secret behind their size, I'm traveling to a research center in the heart of the Bornean jungle. Here, wild living orangutans have their diet supplemented with fresh fruit. And alongside several mothers and babies, there's one massive male. What's really impressive about this guy is his size. It's just mind-blowing to think that he can just, with one arm, haul himself up a tree. And just look at those hands. They are gigantic. But not only does he have incredible power, he also has a fine dexterity to handle tiny fruit and those bananas he's eating over there. But what's most striking is how this male differs from the other orangutans. The difference between this male and the females is clearly visible. He's at least twice their size and his hair just looks like a magnificent cloak. You can see that throat sack and that, those cheek pads on the side of his face. He is clearly the dominant male in this area. The fleshy cheek pads are known as flanges. Only the males develop them and they make their heads appear almost twice the size. This difference in size and body shape is known as sexual dimorphism. At the feeding station, the male uses his bulk to try and bully others off the food. But it doesn't always go to plan. But size is also about impressing the opposite sex. To win a mate, male orangutans undergo a bizarre transformation. Until around 10 years old, the males look similar to the females. Then they turn from this to this. They experience a 50% increase in a growth hormone similar to testosterone. triggers them to double in size and develop those fleshy cheek pads in just one year.
it's the most impressive looking males that the females choose as their mates. A female orangutan only gives birth to four or five offspring over the course of her entire lifespan. So for males, the bigger they are, the better their chances of passing on their genes to the next generation. The orangutan is the largest ape in Asia. But even they would have been dwarfed by their prehistoric primate cousins. Gigantopithecus black eye was the largest ape ever to have lived. Too big to climb, it walked on all fours. A large, robust skull suggests it munched fibrous plants like bamboo. Some believe its oversized feet were the origins of the mythical Bigfoot. Gigantopithecus died out 100,000 years ago when an ice age turned its forests to grasslands. And these giant apes couldn't adapt quickly enough to their new environment. Today, it's not an ice age that threatens the orangutan. It's deforestation. Critically endangered, the orangutan is at risk of going the same way as its colossal prehistoric cousin. Ooh. 